What is up guys? It is finally time for new system test one. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy what you see here. Uh, there's a little peek of something there. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I still have the uh, Firelight MS5UD. Um, we'll go over this in just a second. <clears throat> Down below it, I have a Simplex 4009 IDNet NAC extender. I had to have this so I could uh, run the alarms I wanted to run on this system. But uh, coming on over here, we have a manual evacuation switch. So you turn this, it turns on zone four. The light blinks and it sets the alarms off. It's kind of stupid to have it there, but you know what? It's whatever. I have a Simplex True Alert. This is a SmartSync True Alert. This is strobe only. Let's go on over here to a BG12L on an SBIO back box. Looks really nice. We'll come up here. I know this doesn't look the best, but this is a uh, system sensor 2412. Yes, it is 12 volts, and I'll ex explain how that works in just a second, but it does work. It works very nicely. There we go. Okay. And we'll come in here. Still have alarm in, an alarm in the kitchen. It's just a junction box for everything. Here's another Simplex True Alert. This is, I don't know the model number, but it's a SmartSync True Alert as well. And down to another BG12. BG12L, that is. This one was brand new, as was the one in the laundry room. Um, did finally get that box off the wall. Still looks horrible. I need to fix that. Let's move out into the garage. And here we have a STI um, stopper too. This is the variant without the horn in it. Actually, I can just lift it up. Yeah, no horn. Come up here to not a true alert, but a simplex quick alert. There's no true alert logo on it, but it is smart sync as well. And all of the alarms and pull stations do match in this system. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, as you can see, the banner is still the same. Firelight Alarms MS5UD system all normal. I don't know how to get this thing out of the screen. Well, I guess I just kind of got it off, but there's something in the screen. Anyway, I'm using FPL, if you can't tell, which is super nice. This is how the smoke detector works. I had somebody tell me that wouldn't work with my 2412 because it would mess with the supervisory on it, or the system supervision at least, but no, it works great. I did get new batteries for it just a couple, well, about a month ago almost. So that's nice. Um, the old batteries were about five years old. So it was time to replace those. And they actually ended up going in the 4009 down here. You can tell. Everything is labeled as well. And this was manufactured in 1998. Because this is new system test one, we're going to go ahead and do a walk test. Enter, programming, put in the password. Scroll down to walk test, and we're gonna do an audible walk test. First, let's go ahead and do the manual evacuation switch. Put the key in, turn to test. Turn this off. Go to the next device. This one already has a key in it. So we'll go ahead and pull it. Close that up. Come to the pull station in the kitchen. Okay, those only flashed because the pull stations are on the same zone as one another. And then we'll do this one. All right. And then let me find a tool to test the smoke detector with. All right, I'm back. System is still in walk test. Just gonna use a piece of FPL here to activate the smoke detector. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and review smoke detector, zone three. 
manual evac zone four, and then the pull stations will escape out. One more, okay. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and pull, I guess we'll pull this pull station because it's a new location. So, in three, two, one. Those sirens that you hear are not because of this. This is not hooked up to a dialer or anything. So no worries there. Um, the manual evacuation switch is uh, blinking. The true alerts do not have audible silence. However, I wired it up in a certain way to where that would work. Buddy. As you can see, that does not mean, that just means all four NACs are activated. Okay, that's just how it's set up. And that's, you just heard the relay click to put the strobes back into sync. Close that up and everything is in perfect sync because smart sync is super cool. Let's see here. Yep. One of the garages is still flashing too. You can probably just barely see it. Hey, stupid, put the right key in. Good God. And I'm not sure if it will reactivate. It should, because it's a different zone. But let's try to activate the smoke detector once again. Let's go over on this side. All right. Give it a second to reactivate. Yep. There we go. Detector zone three and pull station zone one. Strobe's still flashing. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a system reset. And I will do, we'll go ahead and do manual evac switch as well once again. Did I not reset a pull station? I didn't. Stupid me to reset the pull. Oops. Anyway, let's try this again. This one does take a few seconds. Reset. Everything is back to normal. Alarms are no longer flashing. Everything is reset. We'll go ahead over here, close up the panel, and then we will end the system test. 
right, guys, so that's going to be the end of New System Test 1. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, thank you for watching.